I know every single Ravens fan has been following this whole Brandon Ayuk versus the 49ers thing closely. Today, he unfollowed the 49ers on Instagram, and usually that means one of two things. Either that player is getting ready to get a contract, a new contract from his team, or two, it means that he is getting ready to be traded. Most Ravens fans hoping it's the latter of the two, and he ends up in Baltimore. That would be a dream scenario for so many people. But we'll see what goes down. But speaking about dream scenarios, Bleacher Report, where we will be streaming uh, this Monday at 12 p.m. So y'all make sure y'all come through, download the Bleacher Report app, and you can follow us on there, St. Raven Vids. And we're going to be talking about sleepers that the Baltimore Ravens have to draft. So we'll get into that on Monday. But Bleacher Report, they put out a very interesting article that I personally appreciated very much. It said, one free agent still on the market who can help each NFL team in 2024. Let's read the introduction. It says, while most of the big name free agents have already signed this offseason, there are still plenty of quality players who are looking for a new home. Also, there are still plenty of hosts to fill on just about every NFL roster. So opportunities are still out there for unsigned veterans to make an impact with a new club. Here, we'll go division by division and play matchmaker, pairing one free agent who could fill a need for each team in the league. In certain situations, that could mean adding a starter, while others would be good depth pieces or veteran presence for a younger roster. So, that um, is a nice preface to the player that we're getting ready to talk about. And somebody that, I remember when he first got cut, I was like, oh my goodness, I would love if the Baltimore Ravens would sign him. But I just knew back then it wasn't going to happen. Why? Because I thought he was the best safety out there on the market. I thought he would be the most expensive safety out there on the market. And it just wasn't going to go down. But that was maybe a month and a half ago. He still ain't signed yet. And that player is Justin Simmons. I remember when the Denver Broncos first cut him. I was like, wow, they actually cut Justin Simmons like this dude. I remember watching him specifically against the Baltimore Ravens. And this dude was literally every single where that the ball was. The man was everywhere making plays all over the field. And when you see something like that, you got no choice but to respect it. You admire it because I'm somebody who I am a Ravens fan, but I just love watching great players play. I, I love great players doing great things. Not against the Baltimore Ravens, though, but you still got to respect it. So when I watch Justin Simmons, I'm like, man, this dude, he is a baller, man. So then when the Denver Broncos cut him, I just envisioned a scenario where, oh, man, we getting ready to lose Geno Smith. Didn't know it was going to be to the Bengals, but I knew we were getting ready to lose Geno, Geno, not Geno Smith, Geno Stone. I'm tripping. I knew we were getting ready to lose Geno Stone. So I, I just thought about a scenario where we got Marcus Williams, hopefully a healthy Marcus Williams. We got Super Duper Kyle, Hamilton that could do literally everything, and he's our other safety, even though he don't really play safety. He just literally be everywhere. He's just a football player. I wish we could have 11 Kyle Hamilton's. If we did, our number one defense would be like negative two because they'd be above one. But anyway... I just imagine a scenario where we had a Marcus Williams, a Justin Simmons, and then Kyle Hamilton just doing what he does. And I was like, man, that, that would be great, but it's just not realistic. But little did I know that a month later, he would still be available. And that actually increases the Baltimore Ravens' chances of possibly signing him because he's still there. We all know about supply and demand. That means when the supply is high, then the demand for that supply is low because there's so much of it. But when the supply is low, the demand for whatever that is, is a lot higher because there's so much less of it. The safety market this offseason and free agency, the supply was high. It was a lot. It was a lot of safeties out there, a whole lot of safeties out there. So the demand was super low. A lot of them still didn't get signed. But this one right here, Justin Simmons, I would love if this move was made. Let's see what Bleacher Report had to say on it. It said, Baltimore Ravens, Justin Simmons, with Ardarius Washington moving to more of a nickel corner role and Geno Stone signing with the Bengals, the Ravens only have two safeties on the roster and need depth there at the very least. Simmons can provide that and gives the team a starting option who has 30 interceptions and 64 passes defended in his career so he knows how to be around the ball 
He knows how to be around the play, how to break up the play. He has a lot of experience. With the Baltimore Ravens, and we talked about this as we headed into free agency this offseason because we, again, knew Geno Stone was not going to be back. Hoped that he would be back, but knew he wouldn't be back. We figured that the Baltimore Ravens, they would want somebody there. Like, they could draft a rookie, and they could put him at the safety position, but at the same time, you're probably going to want somebody there that has a bit of experience, especially being a team that's so close. That's like right there. You're right there. And you just need to switch out a few things, make a few adjustments here and there. But a team that's so close, I, I wouldn't envision them starting a rookie at that position. I mean, unless you draft another Kyle Hamilton, then I would completely get it. But anyway, I would think that they will want somebody with experience as that third safety. And Justin Simmons gives you that. And now that Eric DeCosta, he said he wasn't a patient person, even though like he's shown that he is a very patient person. His patience could pay off in a big way if he signed Justin Simmons. It really could because that would really continue to solidify the Baltimore Ravens and they could continue to not fix what wasn't broken last year. Because remember, it was Marcus Williams, it was Geno Stone, and then it was Kyle Hamilton. We had them three safeties on the field pretty much all the time. Now, that did obviously change when Marcus Williams went down. When he was hurt, Geno Stone, he held it down. And then Kyle Hamilton. Uh, and then they had a mix of some other guys back there during Marcus Williams' absence. But once he got healthy, that was your lineup at safety. And it proved to pay dividends in a big way because Marcus Williams, he held it down on the back end. Geno Stone, strong safety wasn't the best position for him. He was a much better free safety, but he did his thing while he was there. And then, of course, Kyle Hamilton. I mean, <laughs> you, we ain't even got to get into that. Like, could have been defensive player of the year, but he was all pro, pro, bowl, super duper Kyle. Literally can do everything. Don't got a bad word to say about Kyle Hamilton at all because he is like that. He really is. And just to – he's only in his second year. Well, last year was his second year. And to see just how he improved from the beginning of his rookie season. Remember that that Dolphins game? And, I mean, everybody looked sloppy in that game. Uh, two years ago, not last year. Because last year <laughs> – oh, yeah, I know y'all remember last year, that Dolphins game. But two years ago when we played the Dolphins at M&T Bank Stadium and how just everything broke down in that game. But to watch his growth, to watch Mike McDonald's growth over these past two years, it's just been a beautiful thing to see. Watch the entire defense's growth been a beautiful thing to see but now with Zach Orr with him being a new defensive coordinator another reason I would love this move I would go crazy if the Baltimore Ravens end up signing Justin Simmons but anyway another reason I would absolutely love this move is because you want to make Zach Orr's job as easy as possible he's your new defensive coordinator it's his first time being a defensive coordinator I think he's going to do a good job I mean it's just in his blood he he was he got picked as an undrafted free agent by the Baltimore Ravens Got signed by them as an undrafted free. Played for the Baltimore Ravens. He knows the Baltimore Ravens. He is a Baltimore Raven now. He coaches the Baltimore Ravens. So, yeah, Zach Orr is in a real, real good position. But you want to make his job easier with the personnel that you got. So, Ravens, hey, Bleacher Report said it, so it makes sense, right? Bring me Justin Simmons. The team keep it clean. How y'all feel about the possibility of a Justin Simmons. Don't talk to me about no money. Don't talk to me about no salary cap. Don't talk to me. Oh, we need to sign the. I'm asking you, how do you feel about the possibility of the Baltimore Ravens signing one Justin Simmons to complete that safety trio? Look forward to hearing y'all in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn them notifications on and run them likes up. Happy Friday.